Hello, my legion of little goblins. This is Gamer Dragon. Welcome back to The Witcher 3. I mean, 2? What am I saying? Let's see. Ow! Dick! The famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the North. Time to test that rumor. Enough slaughter. Surrender and Foltest will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Foltest defiled my mother. Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men and your honor. In a minute, you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher, and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword? Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before Foltest? Never! You heard them, witcher. This is between us. So be it. Stand back, men! My nanny told me stories about you when I couldn't sleep. I especially liked the one of Renfrey and her rogues. As I grew, I dreamed of facing you one day. That dream will not have a happy ending for you. Blow the lily! Halt! He's mine! Anyway... I didn't mean to kill the guy! The successor of one of Temeria's oldest families perished at the hands of a monster slayer. A sign of the times, I suppose. You mourn Arian? No. He was one of a dying breed. And he was a traitor. Continue. Wait, so was there a dragon? While I remember, what happened to the dragon? It destroyed half the castle. Killed hordes of soldiers and flew off. Where? In the general direction of Edda. To think it almost killed us all. So there was a dragon! Arian Lavalette has surrendered the castle! Open the gate! Arian lives! 
Open now! Kneel before your king and I shall show you mercy! Looks like we're stuck. Indeed. And my magic's no good here. The main force down in those boots is going to beat us to town. Want to head back to the tent? The camp will be nice and empty now. I've had enough for today. Tempting. <gasps> Look! The king's special forces! What of the Baron! You really had to kill him. Okay, look, in my defense, that was an accident. Ah! Dead. I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna die anyway. No other way sometimes. Sire. Vernon Roach. Tell me, Roach. There's fighting in the town. A section of our forces crossed the river in fishing boats and swarmed the streets, burning, raping, pillaging. The Lavalettes are making a stand near the temple. What of the Baroness? Alive and safely tucked away. Unsoiled, I hope. As you ordered, sire. She's fine. And beautiful as ever. The children were not with her. But you know where they are? In the monastery. But we've yet to penetrate that area. Cross, quickly! Protect the king! Dragon! Take cover! To the hoardings! Protect the king! Run for the hoarding! I'd give my leg for a heavy crossbow right now! It's a dragon! I can't believe it! Marigold, stop admiring it and do something! It's not that simple! Before the brute turns my army to cinder! Witcher, how do you fight something like that? You don't. You run. Some professional you are. We've got to get to the town. We might stand a chance there. Is it true you witches don't hunt dragons? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dragon! Take cover! You want to the hoarding! Why didn't you do something like that sooner? Go! I'll manage! I can teleport myself, but not you! Run! Triss! The bridge is burning! Quickly, this way! Yeah, no shit, dipshit! No! Plowing dragon nearly reversed the course of the battle. The fighting should have scared it off. Forget the dragon. I need to hear how this story ends. You were at my side almost all the time after the bridge collapsed. Almost. Tell me how you got into the monastery courtyard. Ha! And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time. But what other course do we have? This priest. What of him? What of this passage? 
Oh, he fainted before I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your Grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed, and you'll be the envy of all Vizima. All right, I'll go. I'm relying on you, Witcher. Where are those axes? Move your asses! We're really gonna start going to execute people for, you know, Living in an enemy town. Would you release us? We're innocent. Is merciful. The king will He'll decide forgive your us. fate. Why would they bring in a witcher? I'm sorry, did you not see what it caused the most of the fires? Damn it. Anyone know what the law looks like? The wife wants me to get her some shoes. And now, whole son, shall answer for treason. What treason, my lord? We're simple folk and know nothing of politics. Love at lost, so you whimper like dogs. What will you do with us? The king will decide. Now. Godzilla Buzz! <laughs> really? What have you done to her? Shut it. Time to pay your war tax. Gold and silver on the table. And shut your gobs! These people are unarmed. This is not your concern. Get lost. You'd better go. The dragon's about to burn down this town lock, stock, and barrel. It's awfully caring of yous, but all right, we'll leave. Plenty more booty lying around. Let's go. You're lucky I don't kill Thank you, you fucking Thank cunts. you, sir. Thank you. Be careful. You may not be so lucky next time. Find a place to hide. I must find my wife first. They herded her away with others like cattle. Good luck. Fucking pricks are lucky I didn't kill them. Would you release us, soldier, sir? Altus is merciful. Shut it. He'll forgive We're us. We're innocent. What's that 
that dark. Oh, goody. Monsters. Seriously, what up with the dragon? why there are drowners down here, but... <laughs> what is in here? Fine, fuck you. Take that. Ow! Dick? Of course it's not. Very, very red. E essence of water.
Koyatel. Why are they here? Shit, I just cut someone's arm off. That's locked. I just, I just came from here. It feels like a trap, but... Locked. We find alternative fruits. Forces are to fall back immediately to defend the routes leading to the temple. These positions must be held at all costs. Oh, how pretty. Too bad it's all ruined by a fucking stupid bullshit war. Why are there open graves? That does not make me feel safe. Instead of flapping your gums, next time, fight me. Key required? Of course a key's required. Why wouldn't a key be required? Onward! Attack! Prisoners. 
Excuse me, that's not what I wanted. Ooh. Thank you, now open the door. You have just become the most titled witcher in the world. And the wealthiest. I'll remind you of that when this is all over, sire. See, Vernon? Geralt succeeded. Lucky he did. The priest was downright discourteous and went off to meet his gods. I saw Scoia'tael on the river. Where? How many? What colors did they wear? Plow the elves. We'll tend to them later. The monastery awaits. Yes, don't be concerned about a bunch of angry disillusioned uh, peeps. Tell. This puzzle is beginning to come together, Geralt. You're either telling the truth or weaving a very convincing lie. I want to hear the rest. Voltes bastards. The Solar. What happened? We might have arrived at the same time if not for tales. Be specific, Witcher. Well, the Archpriest told the truth. His Majesty King Foltest of Temeria. Arthur Tales, erstwhile Count of Nesvelt. I signed your sentence. Yes, yet the Baroness saw fit to pardon me. An awkward situation, to be sure. Anais and Busi. Where are they? The royal children. Don't test my patience, Tales, and I'll grant you a quick death. Confess, Foltest, before the gods and the people. Busi and Anais are the fruit of your loins. Bow to the gods and admit the truth. You may not have noticed, Tales, but I just took this town. Aided by murderers, sorcerers, and a mutant for whom nothing is holy. This is hallowed ground. You will not raise your hand against a servant of the gods. Where are the children, you stupid fuckwit? Where have you taken the children? The Solar. They're in the solar. What is this? Blasphemy! Sorcerer's tricks! Quiet down, Tails. This is a church. I'll not forget this, mutant. You hear? Damn, I've seen assaults go awry, but the dragon topples them all. Tops. Tops what? Well, tops all. Damn nonsense! Geralt, you should know. Is it possible to tame a dragon? No! Not as far as I know. Then why is this reptile eating only mine, then? Let's hope Marigold got out of there. I'm sure she did. If not, you'll need a new advisor, sire. Shut up, Roach. It's possible that the dragon simply... Another word from you and the dragon will not be your main concern. Enough! Both of you! I can't! Save my life again. Ask what you will of me, Witcher. Within reason, of course. I need to leave, sire. I'd like Triss Marigold to come with me. If she wants. Are you blind? She's enamored with you. You may leave, and none shall stop you. You have my word. <laughs> ah! 
Who goes there? Foltest. I've come for my children. Geralt, wait here. You might scare them. Yeah, you think? Ah, thanks be to the gods. My prayers are answered. Go, Boosie. That's not my father. But it is your king, boy. <laughs> Bells, your triumph is complete. The city and fortress taken, sire. Time to thank the Forefather and the Mother Creatrix for this great victory. A moment, blind man. I've not seen my children in six months. The gods can spare another minute. Listen to me. Your mother and I quarreled, but that is over. She was deceived. Evil men turned her against me. These men have been punished and all will be well from now. No tears, Boosie. One day you'll be king, and kings do not weep. Armed men approach, sire. Children, go to the refectory. My knights will soon be here. You must meet them, for one day you will rule them. Boosie, go wash your face. They must not see that you wept. There's a bucket of water in the next room. A nice. Help your brother. Sire, let us pray. They must look like the royal children they are. Hmm. They have your eyes, sire. Never trust a priest. Fuck you, bastard. Ah! 
Well, this is bad. I wonder if this is how it really does die. I really should get on with reading the books. Yeah, since Witcher 1, I haven't read the fucking book, first book. Huh. I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Fortest, <laughs> King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. What's the situation in Temeria? The Council of Regents has convened to restore order. That means three things. Utter chaos will prevail, Visima will run dry of wine and strong drink, and the local whores will make a killing. Is Trist participating in the meetings? Indeed. Only to find out that she's no longer needed. How do you know? It's my business to know. They want to run a kingdom without a sorceress? They already have a kingdom without a king. They'll use every opportunity to get rid of her. Who will rule? The chief contenders are Count Maravel and Baron Kimbold, who already tussle for control of Lavalette Castle. What about Foltest's bastards? The king's blood runs in their veins. So yes, they are entitled to the throne. Not some drooling nobles. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the Killer Monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some Scoia'tael. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. As far as humans go, at least. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over, and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. Ugh. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. serving in the special forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just 16 when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago. Ah, the mysterious event from five years past. Rivia. Population 1,234. Very interesting In that, number. 253 non-humans. September the 25th. 
1268, a riot erupts. A massacre ensues. Streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witches Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Vengerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Don't leave the key behind! Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> Say we uh, teach him a lesson before he did to fall. Hey, my manacles fell off. Can you help me get them back on? The freaks freed himself. How the devil did he do that? We've got to get in there. You go left, I'll go right. Yeah, that's gonna work out real well for you clowns. Yeah! Thank you, Monty fucking yeah! Crystal! Yeah! Yeah! Do not interrupt me, asshole! Yeah. Fuck! A uh, D. What? Why am I fuck? Bitch. Interrupt my fucking fit punches again, ass white. Archaic and barbaric. Damn torches. I can't sneak out in this light. 
What was that? God damn. Very romantic. Huh? Drop your weapon! Can't get the let these people out. Why am I walking daintily? All right, hooks down. Let's see it. You get for what? I said a prisoner's escaped! Guards! Where the hell is everyone? Guards! Over here! What are we. You tell him! Supposed to be this uh, violent. Shilad Fitz Estelin, emissary of the Empire of Nilfgaard and its most divine emperor, Emir Var Emrys. What do you want of me, Nilfgaardian? Simply to speak, my lady. Ah, really? Something you would not dare were my son still alive. I very much regret the death of the Baron Levanet. 
please accept my deepest condolences. Yet it is precisely his loss that renders our conversation mutually desirable. Let go of me. I shall walk unaided. I shall return, rogue! And I shall repay you! Let us go, my lady. Your cries can do us no good. So why is he helping us? Dumbass. Relight it. Drive off evil. Oh! guys not understanding that this is a stealth like do these guys not understand the idea of a stealth section come to us the Geralt allow me to introduce the Baroness Lavalette mother to the royal children who at present mourns the passing of her eldest son Lady. I comfort the Baroness with assurances that House Lavalette needs suffer no more, its future brighter as it stands protected by the Empire of Nilfgaard. Did you kill my son, Arian? Yeah, sorry about that. That was, uh, very stupid. I had no choice. He knew what can happen once swords are drawn and begin to swing. He chose death over shame. Stubborn like his father and grandfather before him. Honor above all. How did he die? Did he suffer? No. I doubt he felt the final blow. Didn't even see it coming. There's that, I suppose. Milady, I wouldn't trust the Ambassador if I were you. Master Geralt, let us be serious, please. Let him speak. I wish to hear this. I didn't know your son. 
but I know he saw the Empire as a foe, as did King Foltest. You've no notion of the events transpiring in the Kingdom, of what Kimbolt, Maravel, and their ilk are capable. My duty is to Foltest's children, their safety. And though I too see a pact with Nilfgaard as a pact with the Devil, I feel I have no choice. Besides, can you say that you really knew the King? Well enough to be confident of my words. Truly? In that case, what kind of a man was he? Irresponsible with his dick, you. that's for damn sure! Milady, those of my profession generally live longer by not judging the nobly born. Especially crowned heads they're accused of murdering. If there's any truth to the accusation, you stand to lose nothing by speaking. I didn't kill Foltest. What's more, I intend to find the man who did. The Ambassador questioned your guilt. It seems now that I too believe you did not slay the King. Your Excellency, you will aid the Witcher to escape the castle. That is my wish. But, my lady, this would represent an immeasurable risk in my estimation. And there is the matter of your son. He chose his fate, and departed in a manner worthy of the Lavalettes. How am I to believe you'll protect me from reptiles like Kimbolt and Maravel when you balk at the notion of deceiving a few prison guards? Milady, I shall do what is in my power. Give me a moment, Witcher, then proceed to the main gate. Alright, let's go. Yeah, sorry I, uh, unlocked Guards! Horses. The witch has fled his cell and is raging in the dungeon. Restrain him immediately. But... One more word, soldier, and I shall personally make certain you hang beside the fugitive. To the dungeon, on the double! Whoops. What's in here? Wait, where did the dude go? Mine. And time to go. Oh, how lovely. that's gonna have to do it for today eh? so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like comment subscribe hit that bell notification icon and share this video with somebody who might enjoy the series i'm gamer dragon and i'll see you tomorrow bye